Good day, gamers. Welcome once again to another Game Master Dave Plays. Hey, I got my script right in the first one. This is another Pythium uh, stream. Uh, but the thing is, is that now this is our a Middle Age game. that I've never played Middle Age Pythium before. Pythium, Pythium. Uh, and uh, this is going to be a Disciple game, which means that it is cooperative with, uh, our, with my friends. So let's level up. All right, so I'm a little under the weather if I accidentally sneeze or have to blow my nose and I forget to mic, mute the mic, please forgive me. And uh, a chat is open if you want to chat. Send us some suggestions, comments, uh, questions, feedback, suggestions for a game that you would like to see played. I'd love to hear about it. You can email me at dave at gamemastergames.com or check out my website at gamemastergames.com as well. Uh, I'm not a huge expert at Dominions 5, but I'm pretty good, I guess. But I've never played Pythium Middle Age. I am playing the other game, Pythium Late Age. So let's see what happens. This is our first one, EE01, as you'll see in the thing. So if you're interested in Middle Age cooperative games, uh, keep looking for the EE on my uh, uh, videos on my Twitch or on my YouTube so, as most games begin, in the beginning, there was chaos. And there you go. So, uh, I'm not going to read everything. I'm also not teaching how to play Dominions 5. But feel free to... Um, feel free to ask questions. And also, uh, uh, please feel free to give advice, too. So, that would be great. Now, Ulm has cheated. <laughs> Yes, he designed the wrong god. I think we're going ahead and just playing with... Uh, basically, that's our friend Bill. He made a... Uh, ooh, I got a cough. <coughs> uh, he basically made a pretender god <laughs> for a disciple game. Uh, this is my first time looking at this map, and I've also never played with Middle Age Pythium, so this is going to be quite new for me. And I am in the middle of... Uh, lanes here. I got lots of space for people to attack me around. Oh, wait, these are my other na these are my friends. Ooh, hello. There's Alm. There is Chen Chi. Uh, Naba. I think we can possibly even look at what they have there also. Oh, and there is uh Yes, I guess, is how you pronounce that. Y-S, I'm guessing, is a yes. Uh, now, the map rotates around, so how big is this map? By the way, Will, if you happen to watch this video later on, uh, Will, the... Um, I think you have 17 people. I thought we were going to play five of us versus five versus five but I think there's 17 nations <laughs> I don't know if that's a mistake or or what happened but it is what it is oh awesome I started in the wasteland very low income hinders movement many more magic sites okay cool but whatever all right so uh, I made the huge mistake last time of going out and trying to attack something before knowing what it is, so the first turn is probably not going to be too exciting. Look at these guys. Uh, Legionnaires, Javelin, Spear, 10, 10, 14 is what I like to look at. And Protection, 14, that's not so bad. All right. All right, and Javelins. I really like Javelins. That's like one of the things that I dig. And these are V-Lights, so they're slightly different, I think. 10, 10, 15, so their defense skill is higher. They only have 7 protection. What do these guys have? 14 protection. So what do they got? Legendary helmet, tower shield. And what do these guys have? Leather cuirass. So they're obviously going to be much less expensive. Uh, we do have a fair number of them. We got 30. But um, <laughs> I don't know what... Uh... Uh, fire, no, fire, fire, closest enemy, uh, fire, 
closest enemy. All right, let's split these up into lines if I can. I can do that. Uh, I'm just repositioning. Again, like, same thing. I'm not teaching how to play Dominions 5, but if you've never played, it's a fantastic game. And certainly, um, you can ask questions. Uh, I will be more than happy to uh, take any, any questions at all in chat. Um, so let's send this guy out. This is probably going to be a decent province because it's farmland. So let's send him out to go scout there. Um, and I think I'm going to hold back. I'm not going to attack. I'm not going to... Whoa, look at that. Hmm. Might be some good sites to go looking at. All right, so now this is my first time. Let's go... First of all... Oh, let's look at mercenaries. Joffrey's swordsman. Actually, I probably have no money, right? I got 400 treasury. Um... <laughs> hey, hey, Will. Oh, can you see my disciple? Um, I don't know how to do that, actually. How do I do that? Oh, I know. Uh, da, 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 da. Pretenders of the world, right? So hold on a second. Since you're here, Will, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So there's sixteen nations. So did we screw up? I mean, not that it... Not, it's okay. Poison Ghost, protector of the Saint Silent Statue's name. Oh. Doesn't show who it is? How do I see... Uh, you forgot you can afford mercenaries now. Yeah. How do I see the Pretender God? Oh. He might be... I think he's dormant or something, right? Let's see. Army setup. Yeah, he's not here. Did I choose him to be a sleeper? No, you no. I, I was a disciple, so it shouldn't be. Uh, I don't. I don't remember how to. I don't remember how to, for you to look at the guys. All right. Anyway, let's talk about recruiting units. Oh boy, decisions with hydras again. Do I do this hydra madness? Make Hydra own units, maybe. That might be uh, a good thing. Now, communion slaves. Um, I don't know how to do that that easily. I haven't done that much of it, so I will. Uh, I will try to figure that out. Oh, cool! So now this time I have actually a Beastmaster. So let's get one of those. Let's get one of those. Uh. And I think, look at these guys. Interesting. Spear. Uh, no protection. <laughs> but attack strength 9, 12, and 16. Wow. Uh, I got some slingers now. That's interesting for super cheap. He is 15 gold and 14 recruitment. What are these? My infantry. Ooh, long spear. 18 protection, 9, 11, 13. These guys look pretty good. Okay, I got one commander point left. Ooh, I got an assassins here too. Let's get another scout. We're going to need more scouts. And now I'm going to need basic infantry. Uh, these are those uh, gladiators again, which is quite interesting. Um... But we're going to need a lot of infantry. So these are the V-Lights. Let's just get a whole bunch of light infantry for right now. Maybe we'll get a like a split between slingers and light infantry. I don't have the option for slingers in the other game. Oh, ran out. Okay. Maybe then we'll just get all slingers. Just add a couple missile troops. Ooh, hello. I could get a lot of slingers. I don't know if that is the best idea, but we're going with it. Uh, so really, that's like, that's well, actually, let me see what kind of leaders I got. I got an assassin. So that's cool. I could overwhelm the opponents with an assassin. This guy's got 80. There's a centurion for 80. Um... Plus one morale from the three squads. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's check out. Wow, 120. 
And let's see what kind of leadership he gets. Four squads at plus two. Now that is something to write home about. Slingers are useless against any decent protection troop. True. But I could have... That's what Will says. But I might be running into weak troops in the area, and I'm not too sure. So it is taking a chance. Emerald Lord. 80. 18 protection. Whoa, 13, 15, 18. Look at those attack, strength, attack, and defense skills. Uh, what do they call them? They call them thugs. I could give him a whole bunch of magic items and basically turn him into like a thug, I think is what they like to call him. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, poisonous Bite. Protection 18. Wow, this guy's got really good attack strength and stuff like that too. Now, um, uh, Stormworm from the, that helped me out, helps me out occasionally. Mentioned that Mid-Age Pythium is one of the strongest groups. I, I don't know if that's true. I haven't played with them. Here is a Battle Deacon. Sacred, right? Uh, level 1 Priest. Not that great attack, strength, or defense skills. Decent protection. But of course, he can cast spells. Now, here is our probably lowest level Acolyte here right one astral he's also sacred and a priest so that is curious uh what's the next one up Ooh, wow a uh, astral two astral 13 research level two priest this guy seems pretty interesting fortune teller i can prevent bad events that's really nice one water one air uh, so, uh, Will says the Communion Slaves are potentially game-breaking. I just haven't figured out how to use them yet. So, um, essentially they add, don't they, like, add a level of, uh, uh, like, would they add, would they add a level of Priest? Let's see. Cast more powerful spells in combat. Right. The Thurgs are Pythims are masters of arcane communion. This communion allows them to cast more powerful spells in combat. Thea communicant, communicants are acolytes trained in the th uh, theurgical arts. The th th thurgical arts, I guess is what it is. They lack the arcane skill of true Thurgs, but are able to strengthen the magic of senior Thurgs by acting as communion slaves. The communicants automatically cast the communion slave spell before combat ready to lend their strength to senior thirds. So, the theugs, theurgs, th 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 How the heck do you pronounce that? Uh, and then we have the Hydra Tamer. So this Beastmaster is going to come in helpful. He is poison resistant 15. That's very helpful, as opposed to many of my other units. Uh, and then I got the Arch. Four, four commander points. Three astral. One water, two air. Level three priest. Uh, we have a 100% chance to get a fire or an air or a water or another astral. Wow. And a 10% chance for another one. Let's see. What did Will say here? Will's in chat. You put them in communions. They take fatigue. And if you have a lot of them, they raise the levels of your of your mages okay yeah so i am gonna have to uh do that it looks like but that is it um this unit looked really interesting to me uh these i used in the other game uh but i don't know if that once they once they take damage they go away because i thought that there was one of the things in the other game about that, but the nets are really cool. Uh, Alright, so I guess that's what we're looking forward to. I mean, there's not much else to do. Really, it's the first game turn. I gotta find out what's surrounding us. I gotta decide on a strategy. I gotta have to talk to my compatriots and find out what they want to do. Um, looks like there is... I guess there is a throne up this way. I could possibly get, but none are really near me. This would be much easier for Alm to get. He's got two, two spaces away from him. 
Um, the Ba has none nearby. There's one in the water. Um, look at this. Tian Chi has got one right there. Well, I'm glad this is a, uh, I'm glad this is a, uh, Disciples game where we're all friendly. Because, like, <laughs> I don't really like my starting point at all. <laughs> There's no choke points. There's, uh, yeah, hold on a second. I'm going to turn my mic off this time. I am a bit under the weather. So, there's no choke points. There is no um, areas where I think that... Uh, there's no areas where I think I can defend easy. Got a lot of planes around us. What does this mean? Highlands. I don't know anything what's around here yet. All right, so with that said, I think that's it. Yes, no choke points is good for expansion, unlike the other game where I'm sort of caught in that little area because I'm not a waterborne uh, nation. Uh, but that's okay. We'll, we will figure it out. So with that said, ooh, let's see. Anything interesting here? Ooh, five astrals per turn. That's cool. I'll take it. Oh, cult current bless effects. Morale plus one, magic weapons, reinvigoration plus two. That's right. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Cool. Uh, so with that said, uh, hey, and me, oh, oh, Richard, I'm sorry. Will is telling me that me, me and Rob are going to have to do some province struggling over that land bridge. Wait, are you uh, Naba? This is, is this you, Will, Naba? And, um, and then I, I know that this is, uh, Rob up here, right? All righty. So you are Naba. Okay, so this is you. This is Rob. Ulm is Bill. And then this must be Rich, Chan Chi. All right. Awesome, everybody. Thanks for checking us out. Give yourself 100 experience points for watching our first episode here. And until we meet again across the internet, keep your mice dry, your javelins ready. And I used it in the last video <laughs> if you happen to watch it. Actually, I think Will's the only one that watched the video twice. Oh, somebody just joined us, and here I am ending. Yeah, this is a quick one because this is the first turn in this Dominions game. So welcome. Uh, you can send me feedback, questions, comments. Give us a like, follow. Dave at GameMasterGames.com or GameMasterGames.com is the website. And uh, I would love to hear if there's other games you would prefer to see me play as well. Uh, this is going to be a cooperative Disciples game. Looking forward to playing some more. Have a great night. Um, and uh, I think I already said keep your mice dry, your javelins ready, and your hydras strong. Middle-aged Pythium. Go, 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 go. Have a great night, everybody. Take care.